Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. In today's video, I have a, technically this is a January haul, but as you probably can tell, it is like February 10th when I'm filming this and I probably will try to edit and upload it today or tomorrow, this weekend. So yeah, I didn't place this order until I think either like second to last or last day of January. Um, it has Bring Back My Bar, it has the January um, whiff box, it has a few other like random things in here. Um, so yeah, it also has a partial shipment slip, but I don't know what was partially shipped because I think like everything is in here. It's a huge box. Oh, it's just one scent circle. I stocked up on scent circles um, for like happy mail, ha happy mail purposes. Um, oh, and by the way, I did get my hair done. If you're like, oh, her hair looks way darker. It is darker. Um, okay, clean breeze scent circle is what is not in here. So real quick, let me just talk about the, whoo, the January with box because I didn't do like a January whiff box video and I'm not going to make it a separate video because January is already over so you can't get this anymore anyway. And actually a lot of the wax I'm going to talk about in this video you can't get anymore because a lot of it is going to be bring back my bar but that's all right. Renew your sense of calm. Love that. Okay after a busy end of the year taking a moment to relax is just what you need which is why I didn't like order anything or film anything in January really. I just took January off. We've gathered products and fragrances in your January with box to help you unwind and enjoy a little extra pampering. So Luna body cream. If you haven't heard, they're getting rid of the body cream. So that is not surprising to me that the body cream is in here. There's a loofah. I could always use another loofah. I feel like I don't replace those as often as I should, if I'm being honest. Jammy Time Hand Cream, I'll probably give this to Connor. I'm not a huge fan of this scent um, personally, but Connor really enjoys this fragrance, so I'll probably pass it on to him. Shamrock Splash, this is the February scent of the month. This is good. I haven't done a video on this either. Sorry, I've been slacking a little bit. Um, this is good though. I can't really tell you what it smells like other than I get a definite like citrus fragrance from this. You would think it's like grassy because of the color, but I don't get like a grassy smell from it. I get citrus. So it is really good. Okie dokie. And then just breathe. Scentsy Soak. So Scentsy Soak has been like discontinued, but they threw this in here. I could always use more Scentsy Soak, even though I have a lot of it. But I do use this relatively frequently whenever I do take like baths or soak my feet. Um, okay, I picked up another Simply Sleep warmer to put on the other nightstand in our bedroom. I have one on one nightstand. I wanted like a matching one. Um, I just like how petite they are compared to the diamond milk glass warmers, which is what I used to have in the bedroom. They're very, very similar though, in terms of like performance and power and strength. Um, I got a washer with tub in fluffy fleece because Connor and I were out and we like this for a lot of things. Connor uses it for his towels, but I like it for, I mean, sorry. Connor uses it for his clothes, but I like to use it for like towels and sheets and bedding and things. So we go through like a little bit more than just a normal amount of it. And then I like just thought this was the cutest little thing, this little baby buddy. Um, I couldn't resist. I wanted to put it up on my little display back here. Um, the Sensi baby buddy in Scout the Dragon. He's just so cute and tiny and I mean I'm not gonna put him right here but like isn't he just adorable and just so small so cute okay. 
you guys can't really see him. I didn't show him very close up, but he's so small. And I just think it's so cute. <laughs> cute. Okay. Now, for this big, huge box of wax and um, there's also a lot of fragrance, no, scent circles in here. Sorry. Okay, let's go through all these scent circles. Oh, the um, scent pack that I got for Scout the Dragon was Arctic Kiss. I love that scent, so. Okay, really quickly, let's like power through all of these scent circles. There's a lot of them. I don't know how many packs I got, probably like three or four. Um, cinnamon Vanilla, Coconut Lemongrass. Ooh, don't dro start dropping things, Hannah. Black Raspberry Vanilla, Blueberry Cheesecake, Baked Apple Pie, White Amber and Tea, Arctic Kiss, Caramel Apple Craze, Squeeze the Day, Jammy Time, Johnny Apple Seed, Owl Water and Cucumber, Apple Cherry Strudel, Two Just Breathe, Sunkiss Citrus, Lemon Drizzle Cake, Fluffy Fleece, Blue Grotto, Amazon Rain, Two Vanilla Bean Buttercream, A Mystery Man, By the Sea, Weathered Leather, which I feel like I can smell this. Um, Welcome Home, Newborn Nursery, Mocha Doodle, and Luna. Okay, cool. And then A Clean Breeze, which is not here. I guess they're running low on that. All right. So first of all, um, I do have the um, Valentine's Day bars, but let me find the other one. Okay, here we go. The three Valentine's Day bars. And I'm going to reach over here and try to grab my iPad. Hopefully it's charged. Yay. Okay, it is. Um... So I can look at the scent notes because I don't know them. Um, okay. Valentine's Day. Alrighty. So I Pick You is this one. It's this red box. This is red currant and honeysuckle nectar dance beneath stars of white amber. So it's probably going to be kind of perfumey. Uh, definitely perfumey, like the amber is what I get most. Ooh, okay. Very like heady perfumey, but not bad. It's just like strong. I do like that though. Um, probably will only be warming that in the bedroom exclusively. Um, perfectly cute. I only got one pack of these. Oh, look at my little Valentine's Day nails. Cute, right? Um, perfectly, perfectly cute is golden pear gets a glow up with the help of whipped vanilla and a spritz of apricot blossom. Ooh, I like this. Ooh, I really like that. That's nice. Um, That's really like fresh, but also like sweet. Fresh and sweet pear. The vanilla adds like a creaminess. So it is like certainly like fruity, but there is like kind of a creamy vanilla in it. I like that. I really like that actually. That one could be like club worthy. It smells kind of light on cold. So we'll see. And then Simply the Zest, which reminds me, wasn't it called like Mandarin Zest from last year's um, 
Easter or whatever. Maybe it wasn't Easter. Valentine's? I don't know. Simply the Zest is notes of sandalwood and lush greens uplift bright tropical fruits. I don't know if I like the combination of sandalwood with the tropical fruit like it gives I don't love tropical scents like tropical to me I know for some people they're like yes like it reminds me of vacation I love that for me it like smells like um like gross like gone sour like rancid fruit I don't know yeah, I don't really like that very much. I'll probably do that in the bathroom just to get, you know, my opinion out on it, but not a big fan of that one. Definitely really enjoy this Perfectly Cute though. I really like that. It's a good like blend of fruity and then that, that whipped vanilla. Okay, cool. Can put that to the side now big huge box of wax so going to kind of rapid fire there's a few like kind of random bars like there's an Amazon rain here on the top there's some from the Mardi Gras collection and then there's some well majority are from bring back my bar um Amazon rain I'm not gonna smell all of them I might actually Fall feeling. Yeah, I love that. That is probably going to go in my club. Um, creme de menthe. I got two creme de menthe. I really like this. This is from the um, Mardi Gras collection. It's a good, just like creamy mint. And I, what I need to do is I need to find where my bars of meant to be merry is that what it was called meant to be merry ended up and I need to like do like a side-by-side -side comparison and decide which ones I need to put in my club or I want to have in my club oh another bar of Amazon rain um two bars of king cake at least that's what I can see as of right now I loved this when I warmed it um, King Cake and Creme de Menthe were by far my favorites from the Mardi Gras collection, which I probably could have, like, guessed from just cold sniffs. The rest were just not very, like, they just weren't my favorites. Um, I did not like Confetti Showers. It had, like, a sharpness to it. Yeah. Oh, so good. It's such a good bakery, and it, like, just was a so good performer um really really like that okay I got two of everything nice I do think um I threw this in my club but I think when I placed this order my thought process was that this probably won't stay in my club and I'll just have these two bars it smells like sweet potato pie to me kind of like sort of savory sweet combination but like a little bit more savory leaning um but I kind of would like like to warm this if and when I ever like host like a Thanksgiving or something at my house or apartment or whatever like this is kind of the scent I would warm because it's not super like sweet it's a little bit more savory um and by the way I don't think I've heard anyone else mention that or say that about it but like that's what I get so I don't know I might be the only one. Okay, toasted caramel sugar. I got three of these. <laughs> I really like this. This one is in my club and it will be staying there, but I really like it. And I just love having like a good bakery on hand. <laughs> oh yeah. And this was a good performer. This is going to be a good mixer too, I think. So excited about that. I did get, I guess, three vanilla walnut as well. Again, same kind of idea, good performer, good mixer probably. 
I think you could even probably mix those two together. But this would also mix with a lot of like more like true bakery. Like you can mix it with this with king cake, I think, and that would be really good. Um, frosted ginger cookie. Did I only get one frosted ginger cookie? I got three frosted ginger cookie. But if you watched my club edit video, ginger, I don't dislike the scent note ginger, but it is a little bit of a weird note for me because a few times my mom, when I was sick, made me drink like ginger tea. And so it kind of like reminds me of that, but this is a good scent and Connor really enjoys this. So I think that we'll get a lot of use out of this, this next like fall winter season and even probably in the next few um like weeks i am i'm in like a weird melting where like some days um and it, it's been weird weather too like some days we've been getting like up into like the 50s even like yeah like mid to high 50s and then today it's like 32 so it's been weird weather so i've been warming a little bit of everything so that's kind of a scent for like a today kind of day and then the days where it's like 50s i might warm something more like perfectly cute um, but anyway, I got two toasted apple butter. I don't know what my thought process was in terms of like numbers. Um, this did end up getting put in my club, but I need to do like a battle between this and baked apple pie and determine between those two, which one I need to keep, um, like keep around. Obviously I don't need to put baked apple pie in my club because that one's always available two whipped vanilla pear. I do really like this. And for a pear scent, that's kind of rare for me. So oh, yeah, that's so good. Like even this would be good mixed with like toasted caramel sugar or vanilla walnut. I think like this and vanilla walnut, I think would add like a really cool, like nuttiness. Um, three lots of lavender. This one, I, I kind of got three thinking maybe I'll take it out of my club because it is like a bedroom bathroom scent only for me. Oh, but when I smell it, it's so good. It's like a sweet lavender chamomile scent. And it's so relaxing. Oh, I love that. I love it more than I remember. I'm going to put that to the side. I'm going to warm that. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Okay, amaretto. Got three amaretto. Um, yeah, I like this a lot. It's a good almond, like almond paste fragrance. I really enjoy that. Um, I did, and then these last two, these were kind of like the two that I wanted to give another shot. And now that I'm like filming this, I don't know if I ended up putting these in my club. Eh, if I did, cool. If I didn't, whatever. It is what it is. But I got another red cedar and sage. It's like really strong and it's like a very intense version kind of of like it reminds me a little bit of quiet grove but I wanted to give it another shot and then same with cranberry mango I got a weird note when I warmed this and I don't know if maybe it was just like I was having an off day and so because on cold I really like it so I wanted to give it another shot so I am going to <laughs> that's why it's here um, and then, yeah, I think I put both those in my club for that reason, because I was like, well, I'll give it another try and see if I end up, you know, enjoying it enough to keep it around, um, and keep it in my club. So that is it for this haul. Um, uh, unfortunately, a lot of the stuff you can't get anymore. Can't get the January with box. Can't get basically any of the bars I just talked about, but that's all right. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was at least enjoyable, even if it wasn't helpful. Um, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye, guys.